The festival of Beltane, a celebration of vitality in summer, an ode to the joys of youth. An ode? Poetry, my old friend. Can't you just smell it in the air? Actually, it smells more like sausages. Chicken and fennel. Perhaps I should scout around. Let's find Mayor Gaines first and see what he wants us to do here. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> Are you all right? Yes, thank you. This is my daughter, Amanda. Amanda, this is Robin Hood. Nice to meet you, Amanda. Nice to meet you, too. I've heard so much about you. It's a pleasure. We've known each other a long time. I'm going to show Robin the town, dear. I'll see you later. See you later. It's nice to meet you. Charm. New boyfriend? I don't have a boyfriend. What do you want, Lord Talbot? Please. Call me Richard. What do you want? Tomorrow night, I would like you to accompany me to the party. The answer is no. Same as last time. <laughs> I don't believe that you heard me. It's been this way for three years. And it's getting worse. Last year, someone was badly hurt. It's only a matter of time before someone gets killed. And it's keeping business away. Our town depends upon this festival for a large part of its income. Let me get this straight. These two families, the Witsits and the Orthorps, they come here every year and they feud? They have been destroying our festivities three years in a row now. Whatever it takes, I want to stop to it. Mm, sounds simple enough. It could be a good fight. All the flowers, the jewelry, the bad songs sung by minstrels, all of it will never change my mind. I want nothing to do with you, get it? You do not <laughs> walk away from me, ever. I can offer you everything, Amanda. I love you. Let go. Mm. Let go. I believe you said enough. This has got nothing to do with you, sir. Actually, now it does. You don't know who you're talking to. I'm the last guy in the world you want to pick a fight with. You're wrong about that. I am! I don't care that you are Lord Talbot. Amanda's not your property. Leave her alone. For now. See you later. Now that is the walking definition of creep. I just wish you'd leave me alone. Symbol of Beltane, heart of this day to come. It is here that I make my stand. Let the magic of my father last till the breaking of the spell I cast. Time continues to fade away and keep me from my goal. The love of that singular woman, her heart I wish to hold. So let this day of Beltane go on and on and on, until such time as pure love shall make a brand new dawn. Possess me now, this spell I cut. Journey me away. I shall awake upon the morning of Beltane's endless death. Centuries 
ago in England. It was an era of chivalry and magic. The evil Prince John unleashed an iron fist of tyranny upon the people. They called out for a champion. Fearless in his quest for justice, one man answered that call. His name was Robin Hood. Together with the beautiful lady warrior Marion, the mighty Little John, and the wise Friar Tuck, Robin Hood forged a legend that lives on today in The New Adventures of Robin Hood. Wake up. Come on. Wake up. So what did you do last night? End up at the tavern? I don't know. It's not like you to overdo it. <sighs> I didn't have anything to drink. You stick to that story, okay? It's not a story. It's the truth. Stop, thief! Never! Miss me. Kid, come on. Be careful with that. You could put somebody's eye out. Yeah, whatever. It's the day. No respect. Somebody's got to talk to the mayor about the potholes around here. I'll get right onto that. Catch you later. Boys, boys, boys. Uh, I get off at five. Got any plans? I'm uh, washing my hair. Ah. There you are. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Any sign of them yet? Not yet. Oh, wow. Well, what do you think? I think it's time we went to work. Okay, they're coming. You and Amanda go someplace safe, just in case. Let's go, Amanda. Wish me luck. <laughs> Let the fun begin. Good day to you, Lord Althorpe. Good day, Friar. My friend and I have been employed to officially welcome you and ask that you all turn over your weapons before joining the festivities. Have you now? I suppose this was Mayor Gaines' idea. We don't want any trouble. I assure you, whoever you are, that we have no intentions of starting trouble, do we? <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse us. Thank you, and have a nice day. I don't turn my sword over to any man. Can you guarantee our safety? Sure. Well, if you both turn in your weapons. All those a liar, the cheat. Who's to say he won't buy another sword and use it? Out of my way. Now what? Plan B. We negotiate. <laughs> now, you understand the plan? Yeah, I sneak in, yeah. steal the mayor's money bag, yeah. get his attention so he, he comes and finds me, then... After a brief struggle. You kill him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
You never said nothing about killing a man. Oh, yeah. I remember now. <laughs> Our Russian will fight. I'll subdue you, then arrest you. And then I'll comfort poor Amanda in her hour of need. Appear the hero in her darkest moment. Without her father, she'll need me. She'll depend upon me. <laughs> she will love me. <clears throat> arrest me? Ah, uh, I'm not going to hang for this. You won't. I'll make sure that you escape. With you out there somewhere, she won't feel safe without me by her side. Yes, <laughs> it's all so perfect. Now, go on your money, my friend. <laughs> this doesn't look good stand aside and let us pass you stand aside my lords please there'll be no fighting while you're in this village surely two reasonable men such as yourselves can find a peaceful solution to your problems this is my solution and mine. Put the swords away. Now! Great. Let's talk. Lord Whitsit, what's this all about? It's very simple. That man cheated me. I never cheated anyone. You sold me a bull that died before I got him home. A bull? Stay here. It wasn't my fault he died. These things happen. You knew he was sick. That's why you sold him in the first place. Bull. You mean no bull. Um, uh, give me a shot, Robin. I think I can handle this. It's all yours, Friar. <clears throat> Gentlemen, blessed are the peacemakers. Forgive, and you will all be forgiven. Back out! <laughs> Who do you think you are? You stink, you know that? No, you stink, you pig-eating scum. I'd rather be pig-eating scum than a worm-sucking vermin. Ah, you see, see, this is great, great, great to have the dialogue here. Well, at least it's better than fighting. Good, Friar. I said, lose the swords. Ouch! Give me back my sword. I'll kill you with my bare hands. I'll pound you into pulp. Gentlemen, no one's getting back their swords, and nobody's fighting anybody. Robin, I... Hold on, Mayor. There'll be no hitting like this, no hitting like this. Are you kicking like this? Are we all clear? Terrific. I'm not afraid of you. I don't care what he says. I've been waiting a long time to kill you, you pig. Can I give you a hand? I don't need your help. Now get out of my way so I can teach these pigs a lesson. Let's see you do that. Now, Robin said, no fight. Oh, did I do that? Sorry. Oh. There I go again. wrong move on your part. Who are you? Drop the knife. You didn't say anything about this. You be quiet and let the mayor go. 
kill me again, you said. Easy as pie. You didn't say nothing about no hero. You set this up? You ignorant fool. <laughs> you had to ruin everything. <laughs> <laughs> I believe this point is mine. Oh, very clever. What's going on? See you tomorrow. What did you do last night? End up at the tavern? It's not like you to overdo it. What's going on here? I didn't have anything to drink. You stick to that story, okay? It's not a story, it's the truth. Stop, thief! Never! You could put someone's eye out with that. Yeah, whatever. Kids today. No respect. Great minds think alike. What? We should get to work. All right. We should talk to the mayor about fixing that. I'll get right on to that. Catch you later. So what is it? What do you mean? What's bothering you? It's the craziest thing, Marianne. Everything we're saying and doing, we've done it before, yesterday. What we're saying right now? Not this second, but before. I can't explain. I get off at five. Got any plans? She's I'm, uh, washing, washing her hair. hair. Have fun, you two. You said that yesterday. I couldn't have. There you are. Good morning. Good morning. Any sign of them yet? No, not yet. Let this day of Beltane's go on and on and on Until such time as pure love shall make a brand new dawn Robin, they're coming Robin! Take Amanda someplace safe Let's go, Amanda What is it? Marion, you can handle this I have something I have to do What? Robin! Get to work. And wait until you see me in position before you make any noise. We don't want to attract any heroes. Uh, right. It's very simple. That man cheated me. I never cheated anyone. Where's Robin? I don't see him. Don't worry, he's around somewhere. You sold me a bull that died before I got him home. A bull? Stay here. Gentlemen, blessed are the peacemakers. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Fuck out! You stink, you know that? No, you stink, you pig-eating scum. I'd rather be pig-eating scum than worm-sucking vermin. There's only one way to settle this. Stop it! 
Both of you, hand over your swords. I'll take those. Sorry. 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 I wouldn't do that if I were you. Now, there will be no fighting. No hitting like this. No pushing like this. And definitely no kicking. Sorry. Um, has anybody seen Robin? No. I'm not afraid of you. I don't care what you say. Now, now. No need to call attention to ourselves, is there? see you. I'm happy to see you too, Robin. <laughs> so what did you... No, didn't end up at the tavern, but thanks for asking. <laughs> Gotta go. He ended up at the tavern, all right. We really need to talk. What did you do to me? And why doesn't anyone else know what's happening? The real question is... Why do you remember? I think we've both proven how pointless that is. What do you want? What I want is for you to stay out of my way. Stop, thief! Never! Whoa, cool! You should watch out, kid. You can put somebody's eye out with that. Yeah, whatever. Kids today. No respect. Look, be a good boy and keep your nose out of things that don't concern you. That way, when you wake up tomorrow, it'll be tomorrow. And no one will be killed. This is my spell, and we will do it my way. If any of your friends are dead when the spell is broken, they will stay dead. So if you're smart, You'll stay out of my way. The first thing I do when I hire a new mayor is have him fix these roads. What did he want? The plan has changed. Tuck, you take the Alpharps. Little John, the Witsits. Marion, you're with me. You drilled that plan into us last night, and now you're changing it? Just do it. Come on, little John. Behaving very strangely. I know this is going to sound weird, but hear me out. I'm listening. 
I am reliving today over and over again. So is Talbot. This is the third time. He's cast some sort of spell, and I don't know why yet. Yesterday, he killed me. The day before, it was Tuck, and... Okay, you're not buying any of this. I didn't say that. Here, let me show you. You are about to get hit on. He gets off at five. I get off at five. Got any plans? She's washing her hair. If you're married, you should wear a ring. Now, Mayor Gaines and Amanda are going to see us, and... There you are! Good morning. Good morning. Any sign of them yet? Not yet, but we're ready for them. Could you excuse us just a minute? This is crazy. But true. What do you want me to do? Nothing. Just deal with the families. And promise me, no matter what happens to me, stay out of it. Do nothing. And make sure little John and Tuck do nothing as well. How could I promise that? Marion, if this game that Talbot's playing ends with somebody dead, they stay dead. Now promise me. Promise. Good. <laughs> 